Last time on Minecraft School. Wake up, Maya. Uh, I found the chest, uh, and I'm very concerned. Really? Why? What was inside of it? Wait, you don't know? Uh, I thought you were the one that told me about the chest. How don't you know what was inside it? Uh, why would I know what's inside? It's not like I was the one to put it there. There is a society out there. A secret society. They're the 1%. Basically, this group of people choose who will rule the world and be successful, and they don't like to be denied, and you denied them. Wait, what? When did I deny them? I never have been approached by any of them. Think back to high school. You were offered a pro enderball contract right out of high school. That is so unheard of. Plus, you would have been rich beyond your wildest dreams. Now, this time on Minecraft School. Oh my god. I don't know about calling this Mr. Grey guy, I don't even know who he is! Uh, for all I know, he could be one of the bad guys! Well, Maya told me to call him, and I don't think Maya would try to lead me down the wrong path and try to get me hurt, because why would she? She's a celebrity, and she's got better things to do than to try to get some young college kid killed, right? I, I would hope, I would think. I really think this Mr. Grey guy, uh, uh, I don't know. I feel I have really bad feelings about this. He could be a horrible person, or he could be a, a savior of me and he could help me out. But if he's a savior, what is he saving me from? And I think that's what scares me the most. What is this Mr. Gray guy saving me from? I have no idea, and it really freaks me out because why am I in danger? Why do I have a gun? Why do I have a key? Why do I have ender pearls and a sword and bullets? Why do I have all this stuff? And, and what was that Maya was talking about, the one percenters? Why would they offer me a pro enderball contract, and if I deny it, why would they be all, I don't know, upset about it? Why would they just offer it to somebody else? You know, if I don't take it, someone else surely would. Twenty-five million dollars is a ton of money! You know what, though? I, I gotta give this Mr. Grey guy a call. Uh, I don't know how safe I am. Uh, I don't know if I'm safe even being on the streets right now. And if Maya says Mr. Grey will help me, then I guess I gotta believe him. Or her, I should say. Oh, God. I'm just so scared and so confused and flustered right now. Okay, let's give him a call. Hello, Aviator. It's good to hear from you. Uh, is this Mr. Gray? Who do you think it is, Aviator? Make a guess, and I'll tell you if you're right. Um, I, I think this is, um, Mr. Gray? Correct! Now, don't ask any more stupid questions. Your time is limited. Life is precious. It's hard not to ask questions. I'm so confused. Who are you and how do you know about my situation? All of your questions will be answered shortly. When? Uh, this is kind of important. Meet me at the Hotel Cortez tonight at 8. I can explain it all then. I will text you the details. The Hotel Cortez? Isn't that where Maya and I jumped out of a window? Why would I go back there? Trust me, and don't question anything I ever say. If you listen to what I say, you will survive. If not, well, you know. Oh, God. Oh, well, I guess I'll see you tonight. Yes. Yes, you will. Okay, good. goodbye, Mr. Gray. <laughs> wait, the Hotel Cortez. Isn't that where Maya's guard was told to wait outside, and then all of a sudden he started banging on the door, and me and Maya jumped out the window? I don't know how I feel about going back there. It was kind of a creepy place, kind of a rundown hotel, uh, filled with stragglers and criminal misfits. Why would this Mr. Grey guy want to meet me there? What if Maya's guards are still there? Won't they see me and be like, seize him, because I think the guards were in on it. It feels like they were. It feels like, what, is that Maya? Oh my god, what is she doing here? Was she following me? Is she watching me? Uh, maybe I, I'm just imagining I saw her, because why would she be on the streets in the middle of the night? Uh, oh god, she's not there! She's gone! Uh, okay, it, it must have just been my imagination. Yeah, my imagination is getting the better of me. I'm just kind of paranoid and freaking out right now. Oh god, or I'm going crazy. Or Maya's got some type of superpower where she literally could teleport or disappear. Which I don't think that's possible. Okay, <sighs> let's just go to the Hotel Cortez. Meet up with Mr. Gray, and see who's after me, and why. I understand it's the 1%, and it's because I denied Enderball, but how can I stop them, and and how can I get to safety again? I gotta go back to school and get my education, otherwise denying Enderball is gonna be for nothing. Oh, 
God, okay, I think the Hotel Cortez is right down here. Now, I don't know what this Mr. Gray guy looks like, but I can assume he's an older gentleman. Uh, maybe he's got gray hair, Mr. Gray. Maybe that's where he gets his name. Uh, maybe. Okay, let's see. Huh. There's only one person down here in the lobby. I, I don't know what room he's in. He didn't tell me what room he's in. Oh, God, am I gonna have to call him again? He's gonna get mad at me for asking questions. Aviator, over here. Oh, uh, huh? Oh, are, are, are you Mr. Gray? No more stupid questions. Follow me up into my room. I will fill you in there. Uh, uh, all alone? Of course alone. We can't have anyone here in this conversation. Uh, I don't know about that. You need to trust me. If you don't, you won't make it. Uh, um... Come on, kid! Make up your mind! Okay, okay, fine. Uh, let's go. So you're probably wondering what's going on. You're probably worried. Are you worried? Of course I am. Maya tries to tell me I'm in danger and then makes me jump out of a window in the hotel? Uh, I don't know who wouldn't be scared. Fear is a normal thing. Fear is a healthy thing. Everyone should fear something. What do you fear? Uh, right now? Uh, to be honest, you. You're scaring me. Good. You should be scared. The world's a scary place. A very scary place. Is there a point to this conversation? Or are you gonna just keep trying to scare me? Just try to shake you a bit, test your mental stability. I guess I could start to explain to you now. Okay, good. So, what's going on? You're not in any danger. The last few days have been a test. Wait, what? A test? A test of what? I jumped out of a hotel window and ran through the city. Plus I found a chest, and the chest had guns and weapons. All a test. I know this is gonna make you angry, and it should. You thought your life was in danger. This is something that happens to people in the world every day. I'm so confused. Why would this be some type of test? And why would Maya be involved? Mia is a friend of the agency. She helped with this because I'm close with her father. The agency? What agency? It's a secret government agency that is all about protecting the universe. I want you to know we are watching you. Uh, I couldn't be more confused. What is the point of all this? Why would I be tested by this agency? What do you want with me? Soon. Soon you will know. Like when? <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, my head hurts. It's like I have a migraine or something. Where am I? Wait, what? I'm back in my dorm room? How did this happen? I was I was in the Hotel Cortez with, with a man named Mr. Gray, and he, he told me that I wasn't in danger, and, and, and it was all part of a test, and an agency. The one percenters! What the, I'm so confused. Was that all some type of weird dream? Have I been dreaming this whole time? Uh, have I been hallucinating? I, I don't get it. Mr. Gray, maybe his number's still on my phone. It's not. I don't have his phone number anymore. Oh my god. Am I going crazy? Am I really going crazy? I, I swear. There was Maya, and, and she was helping me. And the one percenters were after me because I denied 25 million dollars, and and the, the, the Illuminati, I, I mean, and an agency. Oh god, I gotta sit down. I feel sick. Was this all some type of hallucination? Was this all some type of dream, some type of fantasy? What, what's going on? Well, I hope it's a dream. I don't want to be being watched by some agency. For God knows what. <sighs> Wait, is, is someone at my door? Uh, coming. Oh God, it's probably the agency. Who is that? They're wearing a white shirt. Oh, should I even answer it? Well, I already said coming, so that means they know I'm here. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, one second. Oh, God, what if it's somebody? Maybe I should have my gun out. A uh, weapon of sorts. Uh, but what if it's just like a teacher or something? And I have a gun out. She's gonna, she's gonna report me that I have guns in class. Wait, I should hide the gun. I should hide the gun. Where can I hide the gun? And can I put stuff in here? Can I hide the gun in the fridge? I can hide the gun in the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna hide all my weapons and everything in the fridge. There we go. And no gun. Just a normal student. <laughs> I've got on my way. Just tidy it up real quick. Okay. Oh, let's see who this is. Oh wait, wait, wait. What if it's someone from the agency? And they have a gun and they kill me. Maybe I need a gun. But wait, what if it's teacher? Then I can't have a gun. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, I'm just gonna answer the door. Uh, Bree! 
Wow, you look different. Uh, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you, and I couldn't wait one more minute. You, you came all the way to Craft University? Uh, why wouldn't you just call me? Because something like this has to be done in person. Well, I'm uh, happy to see you. What is it, Bree? I... I... Uh... It's okay. You can tell me whatever it is. Mwah! Whoa. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft School. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show this episode some love by hitting that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also, comment down below, what do you think's happening with Bree? Why did she come here and kiss me? Uh, I would love to see your guesses down below. And right now, you're gonna see two different videos up on the screen. These are videos I really think you guys are gonna enjoy. If you liked this video, for sure, you will love these. So if you wanna keep on watching and have yourself a little bit of a binge marathon, make sure to click the videos on the screen right now and enjoy but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time remember to take it easy live it squeezy